Hello and welcome to another edition of Maritime Gateways Digital Dialogue. Today we have a guest with us, Mr. Pawn Wan Dunmaral, who is the Managing Director of Kine Negal, India, Sri Lanka and Maldives. Mr. Khan Van der Maal is responsible for driving the company's future growth and laying the groundwork to further develop a comprehensive, cutting-edge supply chain offering for India and the Asia-Pacific cluster, as well as global customers looking to capitalize on the region's growth potential. Khan, is, who is currently based in New Delhi, is an internationally recognized logistics expert with over 30 years of leadership experience and extensive knowledge of the global logistics industry. Over the years, he has made significant contributions to Kine Negal and has held a number of senior management positions within the company. Before joining Kine Negal, Khan held several senior management positions with well-known companies such as managing partner at Marrells Management, member supervisory board at Partner Logistics, executive vice president of uh, Serva Logistics, and managing director, Mainland Europe at Christian Salvenson. He holds a bachelor's degree in business administration from Nine Road Business University. Welcome to the show, Mr. Convander Barrel. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, having you with us today. Thank you, Ram. It is a pleasure to be with you today, and I look forward to the interview. Okay. So let me begin by asking you that uh, Kine Nagel has been in India for over now uh, 25 years. So how has been the experience and uh, how important is this region uh, for Kine Nagel? So, Ram, thank you for the question. Um, Kuna Nagel, uh, globally, um, as many know, um, is one of the leading logistics providers. Um, we are over 130 years um, um, old as a company. We origin from Germany and have our head office today in Switzerland. Um, we developed from a traditional forwarder with air freight and sea freight operations to an end-to-end -end logistics provider where we aim um, having solutions for specific industries because industries require specific solutions uh, which cater to their needs. In India, we have kind of followed the same uh, sequence. So we started in 97 with a traditional CNF freight operations, but we, click, we quickly evolved into a logistics provider um, with, a, with a strong presence, both internationally and domestically, with warehousing and, and transport uh, di distribution solutions. Um, Asia-Pacific in general, Ram, is becoming more and more important for the global group. Um, and India, um, behind China and Vietnam, is, a, is an important country for that growth. Can, can you focus a, a little bit more on India and what kind of uh, volumes that... Uh... Kine Nigal has been uh, handling uh, in this region and also uh, the business segments that you are uh, servicing. So, as you mentioned before, we are celebrating our 25th anniversary this year. Um, we are, of course, part of the integral um, air freight and sea freight network of Kine Nigal globally. Um, if you look at the Indian focus, if you look at the business we do, the focus is really on the uh, Europe, US and China trade lanes, although it is fair to say that we expect a strong growth in intra-Asia business. Um, from an industry perspective, high-tech, pharma, aviation, uh, automotive and retail are the main industries where we are uh, busy. Um, from a domestic point of view, um, you can say that our main activities are uh, focused on the pharma, automotive, and e-com um, uh, business, where, of course, the pandemic, pandemic has shown a strong growth from a volume point of view. Okay. Uh, are there any uh, unique services that... Uh... Kine Negal provides for its customers and, and what are the benefits that customers can expect when they engage uh, Kine Negal? 
Yeah. So, as I mentioned before, um, um, for us, it is extremely important to focus on industry-specific solutions um, where we cater to the pain points of those industries. And I would like to, to share three examples of products which we have developed as a, as a glo global group, but also uh, in India specifically. Uh, the first product is, is Quick where we have uh, a solution for our customers, where we have a 24 hour support for time sensitive shipments. And you can imagine that is especially relevant for the high tech, the aviation and the pharma industry. The second example is KN Fresh Chain. This is um, our solution for perishable international transport to make sure that the products are achieving maximum shelf life um, at destination. Last but not least, our largest product, which is Karma, a KN Pharma chain, um, where we have a certified product with um, over 90 professionals supporting our global pharma customers in making sure their products uh, are being transported in a safe way. And you can imagine, Ram, that uh, in, the, in the pandemic, this solution has been of critical importance to our customers and, of course, the consumers worldwide. In the journey of these 25 years, uh, can, can you give me any key achievements or milestones that uh, Finanegal has achieved in, in this region? Um, we had many. Um, I think, um, let, let me start by saying that we are very proud that we have built an organization which is a good mix um, between our international customer base, but also many, many, many Indian um, customers. If you look at our organization, Ram, we have, we have an organization run by Indians uh, of our 3,500 staff, only two people are expats. The rest is Indian. So we are truly an Indian company, part of a global organization. So from a business point of view, um, I would like to share a few highlights. Um, so we have started operations in 97 from scratch, and we were already awarded the best sea logistics provider in 2004. So only seven years later, which I think is a, is a great achievement. In 2012, we became GXP compliant. So GXP compliant is extremely important to perform pharma operations. So we were not only compliant from an Indian point of view, we would also then uh, be able to start operations for our international customers, which was very important for our development. And last but not least, um, in 2018 and 2019, we have inaugurated our two new state-of-the-art logistics centers in Mumbai and in Delhi um, for, uh, for warehousing and, uh, and distribution services. And we are very proud of that. So currently, logistics service providers are facing three uh, major challenges. Uh, uh, one is the freight rates are uh, very high. Second, you have a severe uh, equipment shortage, uh, container shortage, and also the uh, reliability of uh, schedules of the shipping lines is a bit uh, uh, off the track. So uh, how are you able to deal with these challenges? It's a very good question, and uh, the topic is not a way. Uh, it is still very, very much in our face uh, today. I would like to try to answer the question um, in highlighting three areas, and I would like to start with relationships. It is extremely important for us to stay close to our suppliers in this case, which is the core, the, our core partners as shipping lines. So we need to make sure that we leverage, and the leverage is big, we leverage our position with the, with the shipping lines. Secondly, in the area of relationships, 
we need to stay extremely close to our customer. Our teams have been and are working day and night to work with the customers to, let's say, damage control, but also to find the best solutions for them at a certain moment. Um, and I must say that there is a huge understanding also at our customer side on how the situation is. And um, we are very happy that we have been able to start having physical face-to-face -face meetings again with our customers. And there is a huge appreciation from our customers for what we have been doing so far. And we will continue to do so. And I also need to thank my staff for that because um, the work they have put in working from home is, uh, is, is amazing. So first area relationships, second area solutions. Uh, one solution we have offered to our customers and are offering to our customers is having CR solutions. So where you are not completely depending on the, on the sea uh, uh, opportunities anymore, but also combine that with air, of course, at some cost, but the reliability of the service uh, uh, was, was increased. And last but not least, um, is supporting our customers with digital solutions. Um, you might have heard of KNC Explorer, um, which um, has a total visibility and transparency of all sea traffic across the world. Um, this solution um, or this service has been extended by showing all disruptions in ports and other geographical locations in the world. So by doing that, we provide our customers with real-time visibility of the situation, which helps them to anticipate. So those are the three areas we, we have been covering for that, program. One of the uh, important region under your uh, area of operations, uh, Sri Lanka, has been witnessing a severe uh, a political and economic crisis. So, so what is the uh, kind of impact uh, on, on, on uh, Kinenegal uh, business or operations? And how are you coping up with it? It's a very good question and a very difficult situation for, for the business and for the people uh, in Sri Lanka at the moment. So, few areas. So, due to fuel shortage, we have seen that traffic flows have been moved from Colombo to, to some Indian ports. So we see some volume shifting. What we also see is that the export volumes are still at a reasonable high level. That has been so for the past few months. We expect that we will see some reduction in the next few months uh, because of the fact that the raw materials which are imported are more and more difficult to, uh, to obtain. So from a business point of view, Ron, export still has been strong. Our main concern, to be honest, has been with our people. Um, because there were moments in the past few weeks uh, that it was very, very serious. And as a company, uh, we have done a lot to support our people on the ground. And I'm very happy that nothing, uh, nothing has happened to our people. So... Um, we hope that the new government um, will create stability and that will also allow them for international organizations to support them financially. Uh, many studies indicate that though the exim trade is growing, in fact, the trade among the South Asian nations, Southeast Asian nations, the intra-Asian trade is not picking up at the pace that is expected. Uh, so what is your perspective? It is interesting, uh, Ram, because we have seen that, that, that same development over the past few years. Um, for us, the intra-Asia trade remains very important and we expect it to become much more important in the years to come. So for that, um, we have a close collaboration between the country teams of Kuhn and Nagel in Asia Pacific to make sure that we get the, uh, the best position. We um, work closely together with local uh, shipping lines 
to make sure we have the right offer, offerings. And on the road transport side, we have started collaborating uh, with Bangladesh, for example, where we move retail volumes from Bangladesh to Calcutta and then um, um, fly them to, uh, to Europe and to, uh, to, to the US. Um, we also have developed, again, a digital solution, eShip Asia, which allows our customers to book online their shipments, even in an offsetting mode for, uh, for carbon uh, footprint. So we do everything to benefit from that uh, trade increase. And we are confident that that will happen in the next few years. Huh? Now, digital transformation uh, has been very important and, uh, in fact, imperative for uh, even logistics and shipping uh, industry today. And especially post-COVID, it has become very, very uh, centric for the business. So what are the digital initiatives that uh, uh, Kuna Negel has implemented and uh, planning to do? Indeed, extremely important. Um, in 2018, Kuna Negel has started uh, their five-year global strategy, which was under the three pillars, uh, customer, technology, and people. So technology um, is an important pillar also for our group. I have already mentioned some solutions in that area, K and C Explorer and eShip Asia. I would like to mention two other examples of how we support our business uh, by technology. First of all, MyKN. MyKN is not only our intranet product, but it is also the platform where our customers can book their shipments and track their shipments. So much easier for our customer to do business with us. And secondly, for our road transport, we have developed a product called eTruck Now, where customers have online real-time uh, transparency of the visibility of all their shipments. So for us, um, digitization um, is a key, key, key enabler for our business. Okay. From technology, let me move on to another uh, important segment that is uh, environment and sustainability. Today, every business is very keen to be uh, carbon neutral and uh, be more environmentally sustainable solutions uh, while serving the customers. So, uh, what are the initiatives that uh, your company uh, to reduce carbon footprint? So, Ram, sustainability is embedded in everything we do. Um, our commitment as a company is in line with the science-based targets initiative, which um, aims for a low carbon business um, by 2050. Um, we have many, many initiatives to support that objective. I, I mention a few. We offer biofuel um, supported sea freight shipments. Um, for air freight, we offer our customers SAF shipment opportunities, which means sustainable aviation fuel possibilities. Anyhow, for all our LCL sea freight shipments, we offset the carbon footprint. So all customers shipping with us LCL will receive a certificate that their LCL shipments are carbon neutral. And last but not least, all infrastructure projects, new offices, new warehouses are being constructed with all new sustainable technology. So, as mentioned before, it is in all we do. Finally, can you, can you share any uh, investment and expansion plans in India? India is at the forefront of our growth ambition as a company, as a global company and as a region. I mentioned a few things where we will no doubt invest. Um, we will grow not only in the metro cities in India, 
but we will expand our footprint to second and third tier cities where we want to make sure that we ensure customer proximity uh, to not only the large companies, but also the many, many SMEs and startups uh, in India. Um, we want to expand in our road logistics presence uh, and we will inv invest in, in digital solutions there. India as a country has a very large renewable energy agenda. We want to be part of that with our investments. And then last but not least, we will invest in our people. Uh, we are in a service industry and our people are the, the backbone of what we do. So we will invest in our people, training, development, and we will care for them. Wonderful. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Van der Marl. Uh, that was a very good insight into uh, Kunanagal here in this region. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, sharing uh, your perspectives and plans. So, Ram, thank you very much for having me, and uh, I look forward to see you face to face soon. Thank you. Look forward. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.